Welcome to my April Planner Canva tutorial. For those who don't know, Canva.com is an online graphic design platform. I use it to design my planners, my posters, my social media posts, anything like that. To start, click on create a design at the top right corner. Then click on custom size and enter the dimensions of the design you want to create. The first thing I do when creating a planner on Canva is I go to elements and I collect all of the possible graphics that I want to use throughout my planner. For April I wasn't yet sure what kind of theme I was going for but I knew I wanted something blue so I typed in blue flowers then I clicked on graphics. I really liked these navy and orange line art leaves, so I decided to make that the theme of my April planner. For the title of the cover page, I went to text on the left and clicked on add a heading. With the pro version of Canva, you have a lot more font options as well as more elements and more graphics and all those kind of things but the free version still has a lot of options. I copied some of the graphics from the first page to use on the cover page. You can send an illustration forward or backward by going to position at the top and clicking on forward or backward. You can group multiple elements together by highlighting all of them and then clicking on group at the top. You can also adjust the letter and line spacing of the text. On the next two pages, I want to create the calendar for April. For the grid of the calendar, I went to elements and then typed in grid, then I clicked on graphics and I chose this grid. For the second page of the calendar, I just copied this whole page and cropped the grid. The more you zoom in, the more precise you can crop, resize and move an element. On the right side of the calendar, I want to add a notes section. To create the lines to write on, I went to elements and then under lines and shapes, you can find this line. You can adjust the thickness of the line at the top. 
So something cool about Canva, when you copy an element and you put it in the position you want it, and then copy that element again, Canva will automatically place that element the same distance as the previous element. So this makes it very easy for me to have all the lines precisely below each other, the same length, the same width apart. I love it. If you go to this square at the bottom right, you get an overview of all the pages. I regularly go to this overview to see if everything is aligned and to see if the elements are nicely balanced. I noticed on the left Canva gave me some recommendations for graphics, so I added a few to the collection on the first page. So after the calendar, I want to have a monthly budget spread, but I've already created a budget spread in my previous planners and I keep using the same one. I just copy it from the previous planner I originally created this monthly budget in my January setup, so if you want to see how I created this monthly budget, then you can just go and watch my January Canva Planner tutorial. When you change the color of an element or text, then there's an option that pops up at the bottom left that says change all. This means you can change all of the same elements across the whole planner. On the next page I want to create a space for my monthly task list as well as my goals for the month.
Next, I'm going to create the weekly planning sections. For the weekly planning, I want to have a section for the priorities of the week, as well as the to-do list and then a space for every day of the week. Now I just copy the weekly planning sections for every week of April and change the dates.
Now that I've designed all the pages that I want in my April planner, I went ahead and added a blank page between every page for printing purposes. To download the file, click on share at the top right corner, then click on download. I downloaded this planner in high quality PDF format. So I want my designs in A5, but I'm going to print them out on A4 pages. So to print the first page, I selected page 1, then I selected 2 pages per sheet and set the scale to fit to paper. Now to print the second page on the back of the first page, I insert this page back into the printer exactly as it came out. Now we're going to select page 2 and 3, but page 2 is a blank page. Then you select 2 pages per sheet. Now the design will be on the right side of the page. So for the next pages I just repeat this process. I print one page without a blank page, then I print another page with a blank page in front so that it is printed on the back of the previous page. Now that all the pages are printed out, it's time to cut them to size. But first we need to mark where we actually want to cut the pages. I use this template to make markings of where I should cut the pages and where I should punch the holes. I don't have a six hole punch, so I just use this regular hole punch by removing the back so that I can see where I'm punching the holes.
I hope you guys enjoyed this month's Canva planner tutorial. If you did, I would really appreciate it if you would hit the like button. And if you want to see more of this kind of content, then go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Thank you guys so much for watching and then I'll see you in the next video. Bye!